Hi. So, um, today I just wanted to do an update on how my reparenting is going of, of little Bridget. Um, it's been about a week and it's been great. Um, we talk every day as far as like asking her how she feels. Um, I spend time with myself every day and I look at this picture and I ask her how she feels and we just have conversations and I'm super gentle with her. Um, some of the stuff we've been doing, we like to paint. So we've been painting. I don't think this one is done, but we just started painting. Um, I have two grand dogs now, and so when um, little Bridget was younger, we used to walk dogs, and we were really, really in love with dogs, so every day we walk the dogs. Um, one of them, we go out early in the morning, and then they both go out, and we just really have fun and exploring and seeing all the houses and all the neighborhoods, so that's something that I am enjoying doing with little Bridget. Um, the symbol that we agreed on when little Bridget needs time to herself is sunflowers. And so yesterday I was gonna do like a virtual open mic and as I was walking my grand dogs, I seen some sunflowers and they were old, but I, I knew that that's like, that's our message to spend time alone. And so I uh, reached out to the guy and I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to do open mic and I spent that time with myself and we cried and worked on some stuff and um, did some healing but it just felt good to like have that message to say you know what we're doing too much today and we just need to I got balled up and it wasn't like a, a long pity party it was just like a releasing um, just that time it just it felt really good and then um, today you know I'm drawn to record and just wanting to share. I was listening to Indiari's podcast. I love her podcast. I feel like she inspired me to come out of my shell with her music. And I was, it's the There's Hope podcast. And as I was listening, I was just super inspired. Indiari is one of my favorite singers as an adult. But I want to share um, who Little Bridge's favorite singer was when she was little was Whitney Houston. And everything Whitney Houston first song or videoed I believe the children are our future and just that whole thing and then I went from there to thinking I started singing the song because in DRE before she does the podcast she riffs on the song so she plays the song and I sang and it just felt so good and I just thought back to when little Bridget was little her dream was to be a singer like to be Whitney Houston shoot <laughs> and before the world start telling her she couldn't or before traumatic situations happen that start to take her voice away from her. I remember when she was little, uh, I want to say it was Easter, she was going to sing this little light of mine. And recently on my Instagram channel for I Love Myself Mondays, I sang this little light of mine. And it just felt so good to sing, you know, and not really worry about what anyone said. But as I was a little girl, I remember having a solo part, and I can't remember to this day if I did it or if I got scared and didn't do it. I don't know, or if I did it and it just fear hit, I don't know. But I was singing, and I'm in a place of not letting people take things away from little Bridget, just letting her be. And so, listening to Ari, I was like, I wanna get on my channel and sing. So we're gonna sing, There's Hope. Um, one thing that Indiari, her music is so inspiring, it's so healing, and now that I love that she has a podcast because what her music has done in my life is what she meant for it to do in my life was to heal. So I want to sing There's Hope, and I'm going to sing along with um, her because yeah, it helps me keep my tune and my beat. Back when I had a little, I thought that I needed a lot. A little was overrated, 
But a lot was a little too complicated. See, zero didn't satisfy me. A million didn't make me happy. That's when I learned the lesson that it's all about your perceptions. Hey, whether you're a papa or a superstar, so you act, so you feel, so you are. It ain't about the size of your car, it's about the size of the faith in your heart. There's hope, it doesn't cost a thing to smile, it don't have to pay to laugh, you better thank God for that. There's hope, it doesn't cost a thing to smile, you don't have to pay to laugh, you better thank God for that. Hey, bear. That country of Brazil, I met a young brother that made me feel I could accomplish anything. You see, just like me, he wanted to see me. No windows and no doors. He lived a simple life and was extremely poor. On top of all of that, he had no eyesight. That didn't keep him from seeing the light. He said, what's it like in the USA? And all I did was complain. Living here is paradise. He taught me paradise is in your mind. You know that there's hope. It doesn't cost a thing to smile. You don't have to pay to laugh. You better thank God for that. There's hope. It doesn't cost a thing to smile. You don't have to pay to laugh. You better thank God for that. Every time I turn on the TV, Somebody's acting crazy You can't let it drive you crazy Cause I'm taking back my power today Gas prices, they just keep on rising The government, they keep on We gotta keep on surviving Keep living our truth and do the best we can do Cause there's hope It doesn't cost a thing to smile You don't have to pay to laugh You better thank God for that there's hope. It doesn't cost a thing to smile. You don't have to pay to laugh. You better thank God for that. Bear, stop. Stand up for your rights. Keep shining your light and show the world a smile. <laughs> Stand up for your rights. Keep shining your light. Show the world it's not Bear, I want you to stop. There's no It doesn't cost a thing to smile. You don't have to pay to laugh. You better thank God for that. There's no It doesn't cost a thing to smile. You don't have to pay to laugh. You better thank God for that. There's no Okay, thank you for letting me sing. Um, excuse my grand dog. Um, he's just being him. But another reason why I wanted to sing that song is because I was on Instagram today and um, I was listening to a, a little mini podcast that I listened to. Um, Lamentors and he was talking about hope and just having hope during the times that we're in and not having the absence of hope and then I ran across the post that was saying like not to give up hope and if you ask yourself a set of questions you know you need to open up and not give up hope and then I came across her podcast and I knew the episode was hope but she was pretty much it was all resonating and in my life I like to follow the signs and that was today's signs it was just talking about hope and I have a lot a lot a lot of hope and I have a lot of hope in humanity I have a lot of hope in healing um, I love this healing process this is going back to my vow of celibacy and the reason why I'm doing it is to heal is to heal little Bridget and little Bridget and I are are healing and every day is not perfect but when you have those days that aren't perfect it helps you appreciate the days that are better than those days that weren't perfect 
um, one thing little Bridget did, um, she's been making so much peace. And when she was a little girl, because of what happened to her, she was a bully to her brothers and sisters. And so I had gone through each of my siblings and I finally yesterday when I was feeling like crap, it was perfect that I didn't do the open mic because my brother called me at the time the open mic would have been. And I have been wanting to apologize to him and his wife um, for the energy that I brought to their house a couple of years ago. And I also wanted to apologize for just being such a horrible little sister. Um, be, but he said something that was, people say a lot of stuff to you and I heard it many times, but one thing about us as human beings is we all are put here uniquely with a perf purpose. And even though sometimes it seems like you're doing the same thing as somebody else, you're not. Like it takes maybe for you to be the voice to trigger someone else's change. And my brother said to me, that's what bear I want you to stop sit down thank you what my brother said to me was that's what makes those situations is what made you who you are and you don't let those situations break you you let them define you and so for me I've been sitting with that. I'm always like trying to find a meditative state while the world is moving, but sometimes I find my meditative state when all the world is sleeping. But it really hit me like it's strengthening me. He planted a seed there and I don't I think there's times when I was overpowering this, but it would be I would be in balance with this. What happened to me as a child is over. It's done. But how can I let all of that because the same that's what makes me beautiful. That's what makes me unique. That's what's, that's what makes me strong. That's what makes me me. That's what makes me a champion. That's what makes me a guardian. That's what makes me a hero. That's what makes me who I am because I have endured things that other people haven't endured. And so he definitely planted a seed in me and I am letting that seed fuel me to just be better, um, but not let it define me, you know? And if it does define me, it defines me as a hero. It, it defines me as a thriver. You know, it defines me in a different way. And so I'm really loving, I'm loving this human space that I am, I, I'm in. I'm loving getting to know me. Also, when I looked in the mirror today, I saw myself differently. Like, never did I ever think I was an ugly person, but I just saw myself differently. And I think the more that I look at this picture and I see the beauty in me and I go and heal the beauty in me I, I see myself it was like a Cardi B moment like I walked past the mirror and damn I'm fine so um just loving myself um, I'm free forming semi free forming right now the space I am with my hair so not retwisting it and I'm kind of um like a plant um not cutting but pruning it like with my hands and stuff hair that will come from it so just free forming it and what I love about me free forming my hair is as a little girl my hair was something I was shamed for like nappy headed and things like that and I'm embracing my hair and I love my hair I love the fullness of it I feel like a lioness like I, I'm just I'm in love with my hair I am in love with me and I am taking the time to truly heal me and one thing I want to also just say on healing I think there are many healers out there. Like I have a person who I do Reiki with and I had said to her, thank you for being my healer. And she said, you're healing yourself. I'm just guiding you. And it makes me think about a lot of people who are healers and people who maybe walk away from a situation and they're not healed or they didn't get the healing they thought they would get. Um, and this is just from the perspective I'm in now. I don't proclaim to know. But I think like I think about church and you go up there and the pastor who lays hands on you and he heals you. I believe you have to have a belief there yourself. And I think, excuse me, you and the pastor are just uniting and you, you have to have a belief there yourself. But I honestly believe that we have the power to heal, heal ourselves. You just have to figure out what technique or what healing method works for you. What healing method works for me may not work for you. I'm a... Uh, I have a big imagination, so I use a lot of different techniques um, to heal self, self hypnosis, and I listen to a lot of affirmations um, as I'm walking my dogs, as I'm um, falling asleep. I do it in the morning. I do a lot of shower meditation. Um, I do a lot of meditation. I have now that I have deeper understanding of my spirituality. I pray. 
Um, I'm building my prayer life more. Um, I have journals that I write in. I love myself journals. I have my appreciation journals. Um, I was doing mirror work, but we were living in a different place, so my mirror work has paused. Um, I have an altar. Um, I pull affirmation cards. I sit and talk to little Bridget. I paint. Um, I do a lot for me, and I don't. I, I, some people could say it's like the healing process, but I think it's my life. This is what my life is looking like. Is just spending all this time with myself. At least that's what my life looks like in the stage of being celibate and being in space. Like I said, I do ritual work. I uh, have my crystals, crystal meditations. Um, read now i found audible so reading will go so much faster i will be able to obtain more information with the audibles now um there's periods when i just go through watching um youtube videos there's periods when i use my tarot cards for healing um i'm always looking for articles i use astrology for healing like a daily horoscope that's based on my natal chart um, I have a whole astrological year forecast that I look at, read spiritual articles. This is my life and I'm growing into it and I'm enjoying it in this space, but um, all that stuff heals me. I always look at all that stuff to see how can I be better? How can I move better? But one thing, um, as I was watching the mentors, I'm going to just say it, but we are here. This life is our dream. We are here to be the best us. And when I think about when little Bridget wanted to be, for whatever reason, famous when she was little. Now that I'm older and life and people have said a lot of stuff, um, I go through my brain with that. But when we were little, that's what we wanted to be was famous, little Bridget and I. What's wrong with that? What I, what I'm, if my voice can vibrate that big and that far to bring healing and help people to be their true authentic self I'm, I want to be there for that if I can be a part of a change to help us be the best version of ourselves, and after we get through healing just be that person and why can't we all be great but anywho I just wanted to get on here and speak and just kind of give an update on how um, reparenting little Bridget is going I love myself and I love you and thank you for allowing me to share my journey of healing and love and growing and evolving and ascending and my voice and everything just thank you and i love you